honesty. I'm like, you like, she saw me unlock my phone before, so you already knew my password off the rip. Yeah, like you, that shit is crazy. Knew the password off my rip. Like, I think she even had a fingerprint on my laptop because there's a fingerprint scanner. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. And I'm just like, couldn't be me. It was just like open book. Honestly, it's just like I mean, being straightforward with you from the jump. So, so, yeah. so, so me, honestly, how I've dealt with a woman's insecurity is like she was insecure about um, her breasts. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, she was timid and all of that shit. And me, is like, that's my shit. Like, you know, like, I like grabbing them, sucking them all. Like, that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So, Freaky boy. No, like, it, it just is. So, she was like, no, this, that, and the third. And I'm, I'm, I see every time, like, you know, I get closer and she, she just tense up. And I'm just like, listen, you don't got nothing to worry about. Like, I'm not no little ass boy, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, when I finally seen her, I'm just like, what the fuck is you, like, so insecure about I'm like These Jones is nice You know what I'm like, saying There's nothing wrong with them Like I don't see nothing wrong Not with them, You know what I'm saying yeah. So like And you know Women They see the littlest Of shit wrong And it's like Oh no it's the biggest thing To us we like Huh But we can't be like Oh damn That shit don't mean Nothing to us Cause it mean the world To them So it's like You gotta attend to the To the shit That really fucking matters To them You gotta be like You gotta You can't be an asshole 24-7 mm-hmm. So The piggyback off What you said Dealing with women insecurities I said this Well The one that fucked up Podcast Um I was talking to a friend of the show Today <clears throat> That's one of my close Like cool friends You know From my work And I had asked her I was like yo Cause she was like uh <laughs> <laughs> Tonight Tonight Nah audience yeah, You remember her Uh Yes <laughs> Yes Yes. I said, uh, shout out if y'all didn't know who that is, shout watch, watch, shout out to Nate Diamonds. Yeah, watch uh, Pum, uh Thundercats and Pum, Pumas and Thundercats. Yeah, she's okay. on that podcast. Yeah. So, I was like, we was in a um, we was in a car and shit. And I was like, yo, like, I forgot what how the conversation came up. I was like, do women have like have insecurities when they grow up? Because she was like, I said, L A always have plastic, plastic everything, like lips and Jacksons and shit. I was like, do y'all like think about that shit when y'all was younger? She was like, yeah. I was like, it's so. It's, I said. So it started as a young, a young cat. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she was like, yeah. Like I always felt insecure. And to let you know, she don't have like, she's she yeah. she's African American. Like she has black lips. So like they kind of big. And I was like, she was like, I thought about it one time. I said, why? Because like you have like really big lips. Like you know. So she's like, well, you know, I always felt this type way about that. And I was like, damn, that shit crazy. Like women grow insecurities when yeah, they're younger. When they're young. It's see, what they see, bro. See, yeah. see, me, I don't agree with, like, I mean, I can't, as a man, you're not supposed to tell a woman what to do with their body. That's true. You can't, cannot, gotta stay out of woman business. Stay out of woman business. But me, personally, I just don't agree with the whole plastic surgery shit. Because, like, me, I'm gonna love every flaw that you got. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that's what makes you you. So once you talk about nice. change and all of that shit, it's just like, Shop. it just ruins it for me. Because now it's just like, nah, like, Okay, I get it. You know, like certain shit, like you know, with the breast reduction and all of that, because of you know health problems and all of that, your back pains and all of that. I get it, but as far as like changing your fucking nose shape or like all that shit, it's just like it's for me. It's just like I look at it as like it's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? So I just me personally, I just don't agree with the whole plastic surgery t- shit. Like yeah, I just don't like it. Women be beautiful how they are. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, like, like, like I had one girl that was I like the all natural stretch, stretch marks. What he say? Oh, that all natural. Oh, the tiger stripes. Oh, that's my shit. Yeah, tiger stripes. Yeah, 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 yeah. oh, oh, God, bro, that's that's dude, y'all don't understand how sexy that shit is. <laughs> that shit y'all don't. Yeah, women really don't understand how niggas really get off What did Kendrick say? He said, "I'm so sick and tired of the Photoshop. Show me something natural, like show me some natural, like some." That bar hit me like. Crazy. I was like, yo, he's speaking. No, like, I read, like, like, what? like, I don't give a fuck about it. Cause at the end of the day, once we all get old and shit, when looks fade away, none of that shit matters. It's like, all right, that's what I focus on is the bond. Like, I don't give a fuck about sex. I don't give a fuck about how you look, how you dress, all of that shit. Oh, he's preaching. Is we are are we going? Talk are we shit, vibing? Nigga. Oh, he's are preaching. we vibing? Talk his shit, nigga. Boy, Hold on. He's saying? preaching today. Shit. Are we vibing? It like, ain't even twelve o'clock. It ain't even Sunday yet. And this nigga preaching. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Real shit. Like, at, the end of day, I, at the end of the day, as I'm getting older, like I'm about to be twenty five. You know what I'm saying? So as we getting older and shit, it's like I don't care about all of that shit no more. Like I'd rather see my woman in a t-shirt and a bonnet. I'd be like, damn, she's sexy. As nah, fuck. for real. Would you date a three? Would you fuck with a three? A three, we gotta be vibing. 
<laughs> we gotta be vibing. That's a good political correct question. We gotta be vibing. The vibe gotta be there. But like, it, it obviously it has to be some type of attraction. Like a three is pushing it. Like a three, I feel like that's like spectrum worthy. You know what I'm saying? Like spectrum syndromic. Oh shit! <laughs> Drooling is shit. You know what I'm saying? Like something like chemically has to be off. Like you missing a chromosome or something. Damn. Like, but like, like no, nah, like real great. shit. Honestly, like. A, a, a level of attraction has to be there, but like I'm not looking for no fucking dime no more. Cause oh yeah, cause they be, they, be, they high maintenance. Nah, for real, that's just that. They like not to put them all in Mercedes. Not to put them all in the category, cause there are some dimes out here who know they worth. You right, and you gotta right. come correct. But it's like nah, for real. If I if I got a fucking seven and we vibing, or if I got a six and we vibing, I don't really give a fuck. Cause at the end of the day, I'm happy. Yeah. That's all that matters yeah. That's all that matters You know what I'm Talk saying heavy. So look for your happiness More than anybody else's You know what I'm saying Fuck where, fuck what your friends think Fuck what your family think You can you can marry the ugliest Motherfucker in the world As long as that motherfucker Making you happy Fuck it Word. But That's it gotta facts. be right though It gotta be right Like you can't be dating No broke ass ugly motherfucker <laughs> And broke and ugly to, Come that on that, and bring shit, that don't bring shit trouble. To the table And all he bringing Is just the, the, the thing of Like you gotta think Realistically too yeah. Like you got to You got to match on some people settle like that. for that. Yeah, yeah. and that's what I some don't want to do. I don't. That. I don't want to settle. All right, that's good. I want to settle. You know what I'm saying so. What, Ty, you you you've been raising your hand and shit. Where, like, what, yeah. you, what, what, what the you fuck been in? going on back there, Cuz? If you wasn't late, you would have been on the podcast. Yeah, All I was saying was it. like to piggyback off of what y'all was saying. Like it's the little things that count. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Like when you were saying like <clears throat> uh, women's insecurities, like the. Like the shit that they are insecure about, like you're supposed to like make them feel good about it, or like say like her fucking she got a back roll or some shit. You fuck around and just flap that motherfucker. You sexy I'll motherfucker. You I lick that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fucking, flick that motherfucker like it's a bean or something. Yeah. I'm a nasty nigga too. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold y'all. Freaky yeah. boy. But yeah, when it comes to women, though, it's definitely the little things that matter. Yeah. Like, cause I remember, yeah, we was having a discussion off the pod about like about. Like women, what are they interested in? Like how to like make a good date or something? Yeah, yeah. it's definitely the little things. Like and hey. I'm and I we t- we definitely did yeah, talk about this and that. I and I be trying my heart like that's one thing like I try to uh I try to like show them differently you know what I'm saying because a lot yeah. of women I heard haven't been on a well my on age range haven't been on a date you know what I'm saying know. I be trying to go yeah. to above and beyond I be trying yeah. to set the standard you know what I'm saying because I grew up with a, a woman household and like you know what I'm saying I be trying to show them differently. Hey, listen. It's really crazy how many women have not been on a date. It's wild. It's just oh, wild real. as fuck. They think they can just fucking leave. That's just <laughs> crazy. Like, <laughs> so so so. Let's get back into some some wild shit. <laughs> I don't know who put this in the topics list, uh-huh. but it says, "Would you still be with a trans person after y'all had sex and they tell you they were born a man?" Fuck no. Well, you should be able to find that out before the end. No. Test that throat. Maybe. Nigga. I don't know. The who technology this, now. First off, no. I don't know who put this in here. I don't either. I probably oh, didn't. Shit, but whoever well. did, you're a wild fucking man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he got a slip up while he moaning, bro. He I think got I did. To. I ain't gonna hold you. I think I did. Put that in there? Yeah. Uh, uh, no. Nah. Oh, this you man. did? Oh, never mind. Never it mind. shows me who made the edits. So. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> so, would you do it? No. Why? Why? I want, it wouldn't sit right with me. Like, yeah, just knowing that what you. So even I shouldn't be thinking this way, but <laughs> just what you was beforehand and what you are now is just like. Well, it wouldn't sit right with me. What if y'all vibing? Fuck like, no. The vibe is dead, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that shit is gay, nigga. Nah, I'm not. Bro, what? What he said? Nah, bro. He's, he my thing is, my I'm thing hell is how, nah. My thing is, how would you know? Because it's like a lot of trans... Uh, trans women out here don't get, don't get that body <laughs> surgery. So, obviously, yeah. if y'all fucking... You gotta know like the difference between a taco Ooh. and a hot dog. So I'm, I'm saying like, Bro. what what if she got the transition? She transitioned already, and you cannot tell. And she tell me? And she a ten. Bro, she gonna nah, slip up, bro. bro. Nah, bro. She gonna drop some no, shit. She gonna be like, bro. shit. And then she gonna be like, shit. And then she's gonna be like, <laughs> you gonna be like, bro, you can put up with that, bro. She nah, dropped some shit. Nah, think about it. Like, when you meet her parents and you see her her fucking childhood photos, 
Yeah. Think about it. You your daddy's son. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, what? I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not transphobic, homophobic, and all of that shit. Yeah. Shout out to the LGBT. Yeah. Q. Yeah. What I'm saying. Question but mark. like. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. LGBT. Yeah. yeah it was question nah, mark. But, um, or plus. My bad. Yeah, yeah, nigga said question. question. That's one of them shits. <laughs> 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 I thought it was nah, a question mark, bro. Yeah, me, yeah. me personally, like, no, quit. I love natural, I don't like, natural. Nah, nah, because natu- we gonna get canceled. Keep going. Natural, natural man, natural like, born, see a man, bro. Bro. Natural, I love natural born women. I'm just women with uteruses, eggs. They get a period. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Is if you like trans women, that's what you do. But me personally is like it's the thought of because I'm a heterosexual. Male, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Since we speaking in scientific terms, terms right, you know what I'm saying? I'm a heterosexual male, straight male for the dumbasses out here. I that's that's not my lane. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, it's the thought that the fact that you were once a man, and motherfuckers be like, oh no, that's transphobic. It's like no, I just like what the fuck I like. Yeah, that's that's a that's lot. What I, I want to be with. Now. Like social media, but oh, you're transphobic. No, no. I like what I like. Bro. I like what I'm I like. I'm telling you, she gonna slip up, bro. She gonna be moaning. You gonna be hitting. And she gonna be moaning, bro. And she gonna have a flashback that Canceled. she a man. And she be like, no, my turn. You gonna be like, <laughs> oh shit. Yo, you seen? So, so have y'all seen? Hey, yo. Now my turn. And you're just going. And you're like, what? Huh? What? Canceled. 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 She's like, Canceled. I got Canceled. something to tell Canceled. you. Uh, have you seen? Um, the Instagram uh, live when the shot oh uh, the trans the trans is on the phone like on face uh face down live with what is it with like <laughs> niggas and she like yeah. so what's up like yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah I seen yeah, I seen yeah, one of those yeah, before yeah, yeah. I, I really want to dive into like that transphobic and homophobic word do you know the definition of the the word phobia is to yeah. like be scared, scared of. of something I'm not I don't fear no motherfucker that breathe on this fucking earth so I that don't whole he, that ha-ha. whole that whole oh you're you're you have you're transphobic. I'm not scared of them motherfuckers. I just don't understand them. I I have yet to have a conversation with them, so I'm ignorant to the fact of you being trans. And I'm happy that you 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 are good yeah, to say that. I just don't. I me personally, I don't get it. Homophobic. I have gay clients, so that's further from what the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? But as far as being with a trans person, no. Hell you just no. heard this nigga. Fuck no. You sound like a white person saying I got black friends. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not racist. <laughs> no, but like what I'm saying, like, but I do. I have gay friends. Okay. So, so um, the piggyback off what you said, like, I have a gay brother. You know what I'm saying? And he used to bring around. I have black friends. I have fucking. My I have a like gay that. brother. My, I'm not different. racist. My brother is black. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. So like, uh, my gay brother, my not my gay brother, because I don't really identify him as that. My brother, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's actually my stepbrother, but like we grew up so, like too much. Like that's my brother. That's your brother. So he used to bring around a couple trans friends and like, you know what I'm saying? I, at a young age, I never I never really cared, you know what I'm saying? When the, my first one fucked me up though. <laughs> like she she was using the high the high pitched voice and then so, what's up, what's up, nigga? I said, she what the fuck? Bro. I said, what the fuck? I was like, shit. yo, I said, no, she what the like, fuck? Shit. He was like, huh? So after that, I said, yo, like, bro, like, I said, I said, what is this? Like, what is what are we doing right here? He was like, oh, and that's what I learned about trans. And I was like, oh shit, oh. So he, he identified. Bro, like, when they drop something, I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> they drop something. If they drop something, shit. You keep saying. Why you keep saying? Why you keep saying? Cancel this nigga. Cancel this nigga. I'm cool. <laughs> He's, he's a, he drops up. <laughs> so at my age, oh my at my God. at my yeah, young yo. age, I was ignorant to the uh, yeah. of the cause and what they they stand for yeah, and who they yeah, are. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But now that like I'm 24 now, my big age, like I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As long as it's not happening to me, yeah. you, know, you can do whatever you want to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do whatever what the fuck you want to do. I'm not getting poked. You know what I'm saying? He tried to blitz some shit. <laughs> no, not me. It's Fire. she. It's it's ma'am. It's ma'am. <laughs> no, nah, but no. Nah, as far as being with a trans person, I, me personally, I that's not going to be my story. So, for whoever put that inside the fucking the podcast list, you're Can't out of pocket. Woman, man. So, what about you? If you wasn't uh, in your in your relationship, you know. <laughs> Would you get pegged? Fuck no. Why not? Why are you asking why? 
Cause you really like, want this nigga to say. What do you, you mean? I don't know. Like, I've been getting spicy vibes from you, and I'm just trying. Bro, him on all fours. Fuck <laughs> out of here. That's a big ass turtle shell on all fours. Oh, man. Bro. Kyle, nah. Kyle, I know you be telling us everything, <laughs> but like, if you was to ever tell me that you got pegged, bro. Go you get a wig, bro. Bro. Might yeah. as well go get a wig. Bro, hey, you, yo. you might as well just leave the check because you ain't <laughs> never going home. Oh, so, so I got a question for y'all. What's up? Do y'all consider yourself toxic? Me toxic? Toxic? Yeah. Nah, I feel like toxic is childish. I'm an asshole though. I, I think. Mean, what about you? Nah, bro. No. What? what about you? What? Talk no, your no, shit, nigga. Talk your shit. You got something to say? Talk your shit, nigga. Hot boy vibes. No. Yeah. Drop your nuts. Or, or I want to say I'm toxic, but yeah, I do have some asshole friends. If you can take a dick, you can take a joke. Ooh. Wait, what? Ooh. <laughs> I ain't even like that one. <laughs> I ain't like that one at all. What did you just say? Nothing, nigga? bro. No, you said that shit too fucking fast. Didn't say nothing. Nothing. You just got to listen to the pie, you know? Oh, God. Hey, yo. All right. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but uh, no. Nah. I feel like being toxic is childish. Like, I don't know why. Why are we cheating on one another back and forth? Why are we sitting there fist fighting and shit? I don't got time oh, for that doing shit. That for real, Me, I'm Point an the asshole. finger. You did this. I'm a stubborn asshole. I just, I get pure enjoyment. Out of being an asshole, oh, that don't make shit. me toxic. He's a demon. No, That's it's just demon. like if you if you if you made me mad, you gonna feel that shit. You sound like a white person saying, "I'm not racist, but monkeys are monkeys." Trying to call me Frieza out here, bro. Oh nah. shit! But no, like, <laughs> is he racist? Yes, he's racist. <laughs> he's racist, racist fuck. He used to call Goku Dragon Ball Z monkey. You listen, a monkey. You grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. You know who he's talking about. But uh, fucking monkeys, fucking monkeys. <laughs> a monkey would do that. <laughs> so is is being petty toxic, yeah, or can yeah, it be toxic? Yeah, yeah petty. Yeah. Is, I'm coming from a petty nigga, yeah, it's toxic. I say, just you, you the most pettiest nigga here. You That's what I'm asking y'all. A uh, genuine que- question. You think just is the pe- all right? I guess I gotta yeah. up the ante. But uh, <laughs> I feel like it's bro, you see like- my yo, you see my shit, nigga. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. pretty toxic. I'm pretty uh, petty when it comes to like you know what I'm saying. You you did me wrong. Now I gotta get my dick get back. I'm telling you. What, what the <laughs> I, I, I definitely said dick by accident. I definitely said dick. Woo! I ain't gonna hold you. Suspects. Bro. Yeah, suspects. We're talking bro. about. In, uh, oh, oh, bro, I'm talking about. Come bro, on. I, said, bro. I definitely said the dick way by it came out. I gotta get my dick back. Suspects. I, I thought you was about to say I gotta get my dick back. <laughs> Just being honest. Hey. My bad. I'm gonna say listen, get back. I'm gonna say listen, get back. Listen. So like I say, it's only petty when I try to get my get back. Yeah, nah. And that's where that's where I gotta learn because me, I like getting revenge. And that's a part of to- like being toxic. But like how everybody like loves toxic Twitter. I think that's a Twitter term though. Yeah. No, nah, but it, it's not it's not so much a Twitter term, it's just a social media term because I see it all on Facebook, I see it all on Instagram. Like uh-huh. it's a social media thing. Everybody values being toxic now. Bro, I live with toxicity. We're not talking about that. <laughs> oh, um, shit. But yeah, like even it's just yeah, the, the, talking about anyway. it's just the era that we growing up in. Like nobody values love like that no more. And not to sound like a simp, but like love ain't like really what motherfuckers is looking for. Everybody it's just not, looking it's not for a simp. I want a you, good I, fuck. I want to let you know you're not a simp for saying that because like I've been listening to a lot of R and B recently. I, I just want to love somebody. Oh, he's in love. I'm not. Uh, whoa, <laughs> whoa, my fault, my fault, my fault, whoa! I'm not in love, Steve. You're right. Love, that that L word. <laughs> nah, that's not getting thrown out. I don't know. Time no, 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 no. I promise See, you. See, just be in love, but he'll never admit it. Never admit yeah, it. Yeah, bro. Never I, admit it. He I might admit. fuck with. I might be in like with you. In like, that's new. Can I get I, that I will, in a sentence? That's toxic. <laughs> That's toxic. I, I want to see you every day because I'm in like with you. <laughs> like, I'm, hey, yo. I'm, listen, I ain't gonna that lie. love, that love shit. I'm in like. I, I've been in like a lot, and I thought it was love, and then I was really like, "Damn, no, I really just like you." Like, nah, I, I like you a lot. Nah, nah that love bro. shit, though. That shit nah. can be fun, but that shit can also be dangerous. It's a thin line between love and hate. No, 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 no. Love is love. Hate is hate. If I love you, I love you. If I hate you, I hate you. But it can be something like that. They fuck it up. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's but a me, I can love you. Like if I'm in a situation with a girl, I can I can already be like in love with you. But I I probably won't tell you for like a good while. Until she say it first, or yeah, mm-hmm. I'm we, that type of boy. Like you gotta tell you gotta show me love because of the shit that I done been through. Mm-hmm. We got I'm already showing love. I think it take like like a six to a year. 
months, a year, twelve months to be like, I love you. I think so six months to a year. Yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say it's gonna take me that long, but like it's gonna take me a couple months for me to sit there and say like, yeah, you know, I got love for you, type shit. So nah, like how short? Like I don't know. Like sir, it all depends too. So like it all depends on the the the, the scenario and shit. So I got a question then. What up? How do you d- differentiate the talking stage and the um the liking st- like talking stage and friend stage? So the first stage, everything should I for me, everything should start off with friends talking. No, friends, best friend talking relationship. Uh huh. Because at the end of the day, when shit starts getting bad, you can go back to that best friend and friend relationship. Yeah. And rebuild from there. But what if y'all already had sex though? Still, it, yeah. you you got that base. You can't just all right. We just started talking. Now we're fucking. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like sex, most of the time, complicates shit. That's fact. Sex like, complicates a lot of shit. Yeah, like you just can't be like me. I I can't just be fucking friends, like cause yeah, that, cause cause sex is going to end up complicating the shit, and it's either going you don't to fuck your friends. Yeah, I got I got friends out here. Woman, I got woman friends out here. I never had I sex at, with that. I never had sex with, and that I don't look at the, in that way. Friend, you, you don't have sex with your friends. That's just. That's just point blank. Period. That's a that's a line that you cross. That's not your friend anymore. Where like even with the people throwing around the term friends with benefits, it's like read that first message. That, that Don't out loud. Not allowed. Not no, allowed. No, I'm no, not. Shit. You said the first one. Y'all can keep talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> no, I feel oh, like it's shit. uh, it go back to that child stage. Like I'm real big on like vibe and energy. So like yeah. I can tell the vibes and energy, and where shit is gonna take off before like I even like engage and shit. Or I feel like no. if you're talking to a chick and y'all just want to be friends, like you probably get the vibe that, oh, they just want to be friends. But if they're trying to be more than, like, friends with you, I feel like you should be able to pick up on that vibe, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's it's hard. I, I usually go off of vibes, but it's, nowadays it's kind of hard to go off yeah. vibes. Like, yeah, yeah, because, you, cause, like, once you start getting there with that person, shit can change. Like, quick as fuck. Like really quick. Plus that that dub clock. I don't know about y'all. That dub clock is always ticking for me, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Listen, I got Listen. what? What I say? I got fucking. I got high standards and low patience. So yeah. if you ain't coming here Listen. for like, yeah. One of my th- one I'm, of my main things is if a girl tell me that she don't suck dick, I'm we're done. Dub clock. Dub clock. <laughs> Seriously? At dub.com. No, another one is abstinence. Dub. Really? Yeah. No, not for me. Absolutely. But if she if she like if she, if a, I'm not that nigga that's like oh if you a virgin I'm like I'd rather take that than you saying you don't suck dick. You saying you don't suck it suck dick is like you've tried it before and you don't want to do it no more. Me is like no that's childish as fuck. So how long does it take for you to double shorty? <sighs> me I try to I try to be nice until I gotta get mean. Damn, so. that's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, so on. like it's like, all right, you know, I feel like we should just be friends. And then it's like, all right, you know, like blah 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 blah, you know, shit not working out. Mm-hmm. And then if it's still like a push, it's like if you if you see me not texting as yeah. much anymore and you still trying it's still? like no, nah, like I'm done. So now I gotta turn into an asshole and then you're not gonna like me. So your keys is loud as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can turn. And keep going though. Yeah. So that 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 is like a a, a, a dub for me. Like yeah. Yeah. that's a dub for me. Or them red flags be there or, too. Or hypersexuality. Like if you always talking about sex and that's the only thing you can talk about, uh, is. It, 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 it's a turn off for me Yeah that yeah. shit do get annoying after a yeah, while so Like if all we talking about is sex That shit's annoying as fuck I have a question What up Is it possible to have sex with your friend And not catch feelings No No What Why Cause it's no. really, Feelings gonna end up developing over time bro. Matter Somebody many, gonna catch feelings Yeah Somebody's already there feelings. If that's really your friend First like off you, you, That's you, not your friend if you I said it yeah. That's not your friend if you fucking Now y'all can sit there And have that That, that claim of Oh we're friends And we're just fucking Somebody gonna sit there and be like, "Oh no, uh, well, what more are we gonna be? Word. What's happening after this? Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. it's bound." To Bro, happen. I had that shabby to me. I was fucking with one chick at. Uh, What's her name? 
No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> oh, shit. This nigga. You almost had me, motherfucker. You almost Did you had me. Did something? Oh, no. <laughs> hey, yo. But yeah, this was one chick from UD, and uh, we just thought we were just going to be fucking. Then uh-huh. over time, she ended up getting feelings like we just got done fucking. She probably going to get some food. Literally stopped me and was like, hey, yo, I ain't even going to hold you. I got feelings for you. I felt bad because I laughed at her. Not face. you saying the gosh, bro. It, I, I, I should still make me feel bad to this day. I had a friend with benefits, and she said she she started catching feelings. She she initiated it first. Stop saying friends, nigga. Y'all just <laughs> fuck buddies. Y'all no fuck friends buddies. with benefits. There ain't no that. friends. Y'all fuck buddies. So well, fuck F-O-B. Justin Timberlake for making that movie because that's how friends with benefits even came. And about. I hate that shit. Y'all not <laughs> friends, bro. Y'all not F-O-B. friends. Y'all just <laughs> fuck buddies. Y'all FBs. Oh, can I land? My fault, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> she initiated it. Well, uh-huh. I'm gonna still say it. Friends with benefits. She initiated it because I, I I was never on that tight time. She wanted to do it. I said okay. I said I said I'm letting you know right now. I don't want to be in a relationship. Don't try to make me in a relationship. Don't try to press me for a relationship. So it. So long story short, it never worked out because she she pressed me for a relationship. What like a month like, or oh, two three weeks later? I Damn. said I said yo, I I told you I said. I, I text. I texted. I bring the receipts up. You already know I bring receipts up. Damn. Ask this nigga uh, price. Yeah, I bring yeah. receipts. I said, "Yo, you don't want to say this." I said, "You said you was okay with the conditions maybe in terms." Was, maybe she was hoping you was gonna change your mind after y'all no. fucked up there a couple of times. No, that's probably, no. That's probably how she was no, trying. No, to because we it. we was friends. We was friends. I, and if it's friends, it's friends strictly. You yeah. asked for it. I gave you that mean. And the mean was your meaning. <laughs> and you trying to be fr- you trying to be something else is not working. Yeah, now for real. So you, once I once I say we friends. The, and and we 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 friends. It's just we friends. That friend zone. There ain't no that friend zone is legit. We can go out. We can chill. We can hang. But once I feel like you starting to want more, it's a wrap. Or it's a, it's gone or it's the it's like it's, it's a Delberton. Cause woman and then I seen the, the one video I posted on my stories is like why do men get mean once uh we say we just want to be friends? You one of the guys now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you the homie. You the, the, you homie. You the guy. You know Everybody knowing our. Should I call? Chat. Should I call uh, one of my friends? <laughs> Who? You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if she's gonna, gonna pick up. I'm gonna see if she's gonna pick up. Hold oh, on. Uh oh. It's my people. It's my. It's my home girl. She probably mad as shit at me because I don't pick up her phone calls. So I ain't gonna hold you. It's crazy. Oh. Tiana, how are you doing? You are on the podcast. You are on the dickheads on the daily podcast. How are you doing? What the fuck do you want? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh shit. So I'm with the guys right now. And um, you know what I'm saying? We talking about friends with benefits, right? Mm-hmm. And I want to know your your input. You know, this is a friend of the show. This is my people. You know what I'm saying? She get on my nerves sometimes, but it's, I mean, it's my homegirl. So, how do you feel about friends and benefits? Like, do you think it, after you're a friend, can you go back to before? If what? Can somebody help? Can you hear me? Yes. She can yes. hear us? All right. So, with the whole friends with benefits thing, right? Mm-hmm. Is, is there a way to go back to being just friends after y'all fucked? Yes. You think so? Uh, this is why I love yeah. women aspect. Why? why? All right, why? You all just stop fucking and y'all, y'all still cool. What the fuck? But what if somebody get feelings though? Yeah, what if somebody catch feelings? Well, that's your fault. You shouldn't have did that. Stupid, <laughs> <laughs> with your stupid, with your stupid ass. <laughs> Damn, she think like that. But the thing, she's one of the guys she, though. Yeah, but she think like a nigga though. So it's like you can't really, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if she it was like, like a nigga though, yeah. She treat she yeah. She, never mind. We ain't gonna speak Whoa, we're not about to do that. <laughs> yes, we are. What's I'm the next still question? a lady. Next question. With I'm still feelings. A lady. You see how you saw? I'm still a lady. <laughs> we're we're <laughs> up. So uh, we want a topic. You, what's, what's the topic that you want to bring up for the guys to talk about? You be talking. You be talking your shit sometimes. I just want y'all to read my new book that's coming. All right, guys. Oh, all right. Y'all come for the. <laughs> Free promo? <laughs> yo. Hey, yo. Yo, he has a bong on her. Shout Wait, out to she got a nigga from, I feel like I got somebody that might give a female perspective, though. Who? Yeah. Uh, Key, you remember her? Text her text her, and sell her. I'm about to call her off my phone. All right, let me see. No. Because she might be at work. Let me, let me see. see if Ken busy. Ken can talk. We can talk. Yeah. We got, a couple, we got a couple more minutes we can spare. Yeah, but no, real shit, though. 
that she really think like a nigga though. Real shit. Can talk like a nigga. I think like a nigga too. She really, she really hip to this. Hey, I don't know. Shit, hold on. Damn, I don't know though. Like, I mean, it's cool and whatever, but I, I don't know. I just can't. I don't think we can go back because, like, it, it breaks. It breaks, you know, boundaries. I think it's big on boundaries. Uh, uh-huh. I don't know. I feel like. All right, hold on. I'm about to I'm about to type it in right now. Let me see. What, she, you text her? Yeah. Give me a second. She she text back that fast? Yes, bro. God damn. Oh, sis, that's sis God. Uh, what's your? She answer? No, I think she at work. Oh damn! Yeah. What she do? She uh, on a, she do part time at Olive Garden. Oh damn! You didn't have to say all that. That's kind of crazy. Hey, so out here. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's cool or whatever. You know what I'm saying? How do you do this? Nigga, this- my fault, bro. Hold on, I'm I'm, I'm an old head. Hold on, I got it. <clears throat> do 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 do. You could just called her for real. You're you're connected to the what's her name? You could have just called her on my phone. That's what I'm doing, nigga. You're FaceTiming right now. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> Yo, oh, <laughs> just oh, call her the phone. <laughs> oh, all right, my fault, my fault. Listen, uh, sorry to the viewers out here. It's just just a little bit. But we, y'all can continue the conversation while. Oh. Here we go. I see she picks up. Hello. Oh, Kendra, how you doing? This is just from the host of the Dick Kids on the Daily Podcast. How are you doing? What's up? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, nigga? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to be all popular. What's up? Ken, can you hear is she me? You calling for an interview? Yes. Oh, I bet. What's going on, y'all? Hi, everybody. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. What up? What up? So, we got a question for you, right? Yes. Okay, so say you are friends with, you, you got a friends with benefits with somebody. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, I had to get that out. Go yeah. ahead. So, say you got a friends with benefits with somebody. Do you think mm-hmm. it's possible for y'all to go back to being friends after that? Fuck no. Why? Why? This is this this is just my honest opinion. Um, because let's just say hypothetically, the shit was great. Can you really look at the person the same way without saying, mm, "Can I just try it one more time"? Mm, that's what the yeah. friends. That's what the friends benefits come through. Like you, like all right. No, but shit. That's yeah, what she's saying. You're saying after you're saying if you're friends with benefits, you're saying afterwards. If you're like, is that are y'all acting like if the friends if the benefit part stop and y'all just want to be friends? Yeah. Exactly. That's um, my point. You're saying if you're the question you asked me was if you're friends with benefits with somebody and uh-huh. y'all stop that part and y'all go back to being friends, can you? Yeah. I don't think so. No, nah, I don't think I don't so either. Think so. I don't think so either. That's because too hard. Guess what? I'm going to continue the benefits part, friend. Hey, listen, Ken, we appreciate you. We just doing the no, caller, you know, on, on the pod. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we appreciate oh, your answer. Oh, shit. Y'all give me some nostalgic feeling stuff. I feel like I'm calling in. Wait, everybody be called to the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't call really. friends of the show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, we, yeah, we thought yeah. about you. Yeah. So right, we appreciate y'all. y'all. Next time, don't be skipping no uh, week, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. All righty. Oh, <laughs> we can jump him if you want. That's, that's CEO. We can jump him if you want. We got you. 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 We Hey, 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 hey. So, y'all see there, we just got two different perspectives. You know what I'm saying? We got one, you know, one that said you can, and then you got the one that said you can't. So, yeah, we'll get one more uh, crazy topic. I'm going to call somebody else because you already know. No, All right, what's up? What's up? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so, bring a topic up. We got to bring a topic up. It got to be the craziest oh, shit. Damn, she she talking her shit. I'm telling you. Nah, because she be talking her shit. I'm going to see if she's going she gonna to pick up. She probably not. Oh no! It damn. I got one. Let me see if she gonna answer. I'm saying she don't answer. She don't answer. I got one. I got one. I got one. What's the question? Two. Oh. Which <laughs> yeah. She probably not gonna pick up because she don't answer none of my calls for real. For real. I hope she do. That shit gonna be funny as hell. Up. Oh, nope. She ain't picking up. Yeah. You gonna get four rings Fuck out of it. me. Damn. damn. Yeah, man. 
<clears throat> but nah. What's um, the question? Yeah. The question I was going to ask is how many kids is too many kids? I was just looking at that. Oh, <laughs> that's, a good, that's a question I was going to ask. Damn, we got to do more Carlers on this job. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Listen, if you want to be a Carler on this show, DM us at DOTD Podcast. You know what I'm saying? And you know You'll be featured on the show Yes sir Yes sir Yes sir We're gonna ask we, We're gonna try to do that shit That shit was actually funny as hell Hell yeah. yeah Welcome to D.O.D Welcome to D.O.T.D. Podcast Alright we you <laughs> right, We're gonna change the topic I mean subject Yes sir Alright boom So we're gonna get a hot take You know what I'm saying We get a random Instagram TikTok uh, Twitter video And I want a hot take from everybody Alright babe Let's go to one of these newer ones Let's see how this is Already, I ain't gonna do that one. All right, let's do it's that. It's about one. to get cold, nigga. Niggas about to gotta buy jackets, Tim Boots. Hoodie season, nigga. Hoodie, Hoodie season. season. Bundle the fuck kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, Shut pickle up. back. You want to kill an alligator? You kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, were you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done, and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? You want to kill Alan? Okay. I, ooh. Yeah. I, I, love, I ain't going to lie to you. What I was love E.T. E. Yeah, E.T., e. yeah. I love E.T. I ain't get it at first because I'm like, what the fuck? That's E.T. the way that motherfucker yeah. talk. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, first off, how he explained it is like, a lot of motherfuckers read a certain, reach a certain level of success and then get complacent. And then it's like, you fail to realize it's still more out here for you to do, yeah. to succeed in. Word. So my thing is, is like, never get complacent once you feel as though you got to a, a good level. Mm-hmm. Word, that's how I was feeling. Cause like, when I got my full time offer at the fucking job I'm at, it's like, <clears throat> I'm looking at like, do I wanna, do I still wanna go back and get this fucking degree? Yeah. Do I like, do I, I feel like I'm set now. I'm already in the field yeah. and yeah, I can just progress from there, but it's like, I can do more. Yeah. And getting this degree is gonna help me obtain more. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I feel like I got complacent. Like, yeah. I, I got complacent for like two years and I was just like, I gotta look back at that shit. I'm like, I gotta go back and finish. I'm this close to the fucking finish line. I'm just saying, fuck it. You can get to the finish line if you keep jogging. And I keep t- I told you I already told you like I'm about to go to the IT world and this sort of well at. you know because of my background I can get inside of it but it's just like trying to find a job that will accept me for what I got already because <clears throat> you know I can't go six months t- to school and do a part time job I got too many bills you know what I'm saying I, feel you. I got a lifestyle to live you know what I'm saying I'm like the finer things in life I'm like Red Lobster and fucking <laughs> definitely the bougie friend yeah <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying uh, I got Yeezys on my feet right now. Yeah, I say it's always it's always room to improve. Uh, you can't settle. It's always more to life. It's always something better. Always something that you can grow. And once you get full, like he said, an alligator get full, you're vulnerable because that's when your enemies like to attack. Yeah, you settle, that's crazy. You get too comfortable. Um, yeah, you I think be, so. That's the the appropriate time for your opponent to strike. Yeah. Like if you're a heavyweight champ, you can't stop training because people are gunning for your spot yeah. consistently. That's if somebody true. just training as hard or where you was, somebody at the same level that you was before, like trying yeah. to get to the spot that you at now. Word. So yeah. it's like you can't yeah. you can't stop. It's crazy because I was watching the uh it was like a sports show, the NFL Good Morning and shit. And yeah. they were talking about how these motherfuckers got big ass contracts. Then they get yeah. comfortable. Yeah. And it's like, all right, you, you got the money that you wanted, that you think that you deserve. You fool. You fool, and now you're not trying to go out there and put maximum effort in to try yeah. to get more. You need that nah, mama mentality. That's, why I, like college. That's why I like college football more than yeah. NFL. Because college football, them niggas is hungry. They got something to play for. They got something to play for. Like back then, rookies, they rookies, rookies is hungry, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> That's why I like pre a preseason. You I see really how hungry mean, motherfuckers is. You see how the niggas fight they got something to fight for. They got yeah, that dog in them. Then you get a motherfucker who get that max contract. He just lacks a day school. Nigga don't really care. You know what I'm saying? Talking about like, you like, like But you got the ones that's that's about it, though. They can turn it on like... Like Aaron Donald. Like, yes. bro, like <laughs> So let's, let's talk about the relationship like aspect. Yeah. Oh, relationship aspect. Okay. Oh, my God. I feel like... I feel like not, not a lot... But a lot of people out here, men and women, as soon as they get to a certain spot in a relationship, they feel like they don't got to do, they don't got to put in no yeah, more work. Not for what real. you trying to say? They, they stop sucking dick? No. What? <laughs> no. That, some of them do. Thank but you. Like, Thank you. Some of them do. But like, I feel like once you get to a certain, certain people, once they get to a certain spot in a relationship, it's like they don't go on dates no more. Or like you don't put no more effort in. And once one person stops putting in an effort in a relationship, that's when the shit fucks everything up. 
I think in the uh, in the women aspect of it, um, when the male get complacent, you know what I'm saying, she try to find somewhere else, and you know yeah. when yeah. she fi- when she finds somewhere else, she try to suck the meat off that that nigga. You know what same I'm saying? For, same for men, because yeah. once the woman stop, it's like, oh, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Now I'm about to go find something else. It's true. So that's why people cheat. Yes. Okay. Because they're lacking something, yeah. or you're. Or like you got niggas out here that's just too greedy out here that just want fuck everything. Yeah. yeah. So most times, nine times out of ten, when somebody cheat, they look for something that you're not giving them. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Speak that shit, bro. So Speak that shit. It, hey, it's a lot of women who get cheated on out here who don't suck dick. <laughs> so <laughs> that goes back to his last point. Listen, if you give him that mouth. Give him that listen, mouth. You that shit deal breaker, bro, isn't it? It's really that is that mouth, bro. Is that a deal, deal breaker for y'all? It's, it's I've got hair from girl before, but they never made me come. So it's like at this point, it's like, bro, if she not doing it, because she ain't doing it right, then if she's not doing it, doing at it at all, she giving like, mouth. Like, no, she giving just, me the shit, just not. No, she's just, giving you M O U T. Hey, my bad. I need M O U F. Yeah, she need to give you that M O U F. No, no, no. Mouth. <laughs> nigga, you need fuck mouth. You need throat. Throat. Oh, is when, them yeah. throat demons is different. Yeah. Throat, throat, goats. Throat, throat goats. Throat goats. Throat, throat goats get whatever they want. Oh, nah, shit. for real. Yeah, you want a Gucci bag? Oh, I got yeah, you. Bro. I really might tell. I love her. <laughs> you on my team? Oh, yeah, you on my team? Bro, I was really talking about it, bro. If you if a if a nigga getting a good, you mean? Once, like, once, like, not once a day, but, like, you know, like, when he come home and he had a long day. And she just throw this, bro. What? I ain't going yeah. nowhere. I'm here, babe. What's up, Steve? I'm trying to cook here, food Steve. for you. I don't even cook. What's up with oh, you? Shit. You trying to go? You trying to go to Ruth Chris? Just, yeah, you nah, just Ruth sucked Chris. the bad day out of my shit. All right, man. We, Changed my whole what's up? aspect of life. What do, you, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? Now I'm worried about what you want. Shorty, right. I love you now. You I mine. Said, I oh, love sh- you. Yeah, Bitch, you ain't going word. nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, bro, that, it's just shit like that. Like, certain women really do get comfortable, and it just fucks up the whole relationship. Men, too. But what was you about to say? What my brother say, if you suck dick better than you drink. Oh, uh, no, no. He, he said, if you suck dick the same way drink, uh, dogs, dogs drink. drink water, you uh, be, keep, keep a man. Yeah. No, he didn't say that. What did he say? He said that. I thought he said that, bro. Uh, <laughs> no, he said something no, else. No, girls put uh, put effort into sucking dick the way they gossip. You'll have a man. Yeah, oh, it was something like that. Yeah. It was something cool, though. Something like that. But I, need, like, I need that vacuum free bro. cleaner, bro. That vacuum cleaner. That Hoover. Vacuum cleaner. Hoover. That, that Kirby. vacuum cleaner 3000. That, <laughs> that, Cur- <laughs> that Kirby. Oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> Swallow. Yeah, yeah, Swallow my soul. Man, no, nah, but that's, I ain't even going to lie to you. I know niggas who cheated on their girl, and they was like, cuz she ain't suck dick. I'm like, hey, grow up. She got to grow up. Yeah, at some, <laughs> at you got some somebody got to do the dirty work. Yeah. 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 So, all right, we're going to go to this last topic. I'm going to go. I'm going to set the vibes. I'm going to set the vibes. Ooh. Yeah, you already know what time we on. So, yeah. this is the MTM advice of the week. Welcome to DOTD Radio. All right, I need a good ass topic from everybody to mo- motivate the misguided. Uh, I got one. Yeah, life is stressful. Life is hard. You got ups and downs, but at the end of the day, you got to stay in your character and remain true to who you are. Yes, sir. So I got one. I got one. Life is too short to deal with the bullshit. Take yeah. advantage of every single possibility and opportunity that comes your way. Okay. Take sir. advantage. Life is too short. You going you going to think about doing that shit when you get older, knowing that you can't do that shit no more. Like people that's out here that want to play pro ball or college ball. Don't be scared. You ain't get the scholarship. Fuck it. Go to a community college. Walk on the team. Cause you never know. You could be. You could be dusting these. It's a lot of niggas that do that shit. Word. No, Cooper Cup, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Cooper Cup. Yeah. They got their triple crown last season too. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Don't man. be scared. Take advantage of. You know you. If you know you can outwork these motherfuckers, do it. Show them. Shit. The piggy back off what you said. My NTM is the hustle will pay off one day. Yes. And to piggy back off of what y'all said, if a if a door seemed like it closed on you. Knock down the wall Definitely And to pick it back off Of what you Nah I ain't got Yo But this has been Another episode Of D.O.T.D. Podcast D.O.T.D. Episode 25 gang, You gang, know what I'm gang, saying And we gang, not gang. stopping No mom Yo we not oh, stopping We oh, not stopping No more nigga Yo shit and we out this motherfucker, yo. I want y'all to tune in every fucking week. You know what I'm saying? I said last week. But tune in every week. You already know. We tight time with y'all, man. Don't like. Don't just watch the shit. Like. 
share, subscribe, yeah. comment. We got we got somebody. We got a personal counter too, so he sees yeah. every like yeah. or yeah. subscriber. You know, he's he gonna be on your fucking ass. ass. Hold on, hold on. There, there he go, right there. Yeah, tell, tell them niggas, bro. Tell comment. these niggas, bro. On your ass, nigga. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Don't just view the shit, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know that is our detective, so he will see. This nigga, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we appreciate all the listeners. We love yes, y'all. Sir, you know yes, sir. Keep supporting us. You already know we out this bitch. Oh ah.